You ready? Okay, Jackson, you ready? Band, are you ready? Okay. Three, two, one. Lake Street Dive is here in the Roadhouse.
right, Lake Street Dive is here in the Roadhouse. That song, a new song, Better Than, and then the song before that was Bad self Portraits, the title track for the forthcoming album coming out early next year in 2014. It's about time. Welcome, Lake Street Dive. Thanks for having us. We're excited to be here. It's good to have you guys here. You know, it was 2012, the summer of 2012. I was wandering the grounds of Pickathon. It was late. It was midnight. It was dark. And I heard this sound over there at the Starlight stage, that mini dark stage. And uh, I walked over there, and it was it was you guys. And I was like, who is that soul singer? <laughs> and it was you, Rachel Price, and the band. And that was like kind of, you were a bit of a discovery band, I think, for a lot of people at that particular festival back in that day in 2012. Yeah. Do, do you remember that show? Oh, very well. Yeah, it was kind of like the show of our year. It was like uh, one of the first... It was one of the first shows we did. I mean, in a, we were in a completely, you know, new place for us. We'd never um, played in the Portland area, and um, it was sort of like our biggest festival set that we, we'd ever done. Um, the response was um, really unexpected. I remember being like so overwhelmed at, at one point that I just stopped singing and just kind of like I started like laughing uh, with nervousness and I had to take a moment and the crowd was really supportive they were like take your time and uh, it was great we on the other hand were like why aren't you singing yeah they thought it was weird <laughs> well it was one of those kind of drop dead performances where everyone was just kind of like in awe of really you know the band the sound you are singing but also Rachel your charisma on stage is, is also just fantastic as far as you know how you perform I mean, both hands on hips, swaying back and forth and <laughs> singing like that is really something special. Thanks. Yeah. Rachel Price, the singer, uh, Bridget Kearney is on bass and also sings, and Mike uh, Kelly Breeze on drums, and then Mike Olson is on guitar and that trumpet on that last track. Well, it's about time for the album to come out. It's been a while. Uh, Fun Machine came out in 2012, and then nothing for this year. Mm -hmm. But I guess there's some plans with uh, the label, the signature, and I guess they probably have some plans as, to get this record out as, as best as they can any way they want, and it's going to be in February of next year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, we're super, super stoked to put it out. We've, uh, you know, been waiting for a long time. <laughs> and Do we uh, know what the wait is about? Well, uh, to, to put it in vague terms, someone was holding Rachel's voice hostage. I see, and uh, yeah. we needed to rescue her. Music, music biz. <laughs> yes, yeah. music yeah. biz. Uh, but it's all sorted out now, and we're very grateful. And uh, we're actually going to be releasing a video, a uh, little teaser video, this coming, well, very soon. Look cool. for it on the internet. Yeah, well, speaking <laughs> of video and on the internet, a lot of the, the buzz has been, you know, the buzz has been generating all year for you guys. You're kind of... You're getting around people are knowing about you a bit more the seattle show has been sold out for a week and uh but the buzz people are a lot of, a lot of people are citing that video that was on youtube from fun machine that the song you recorded on the boston sidewalk that's right did that actually happen or not it did actually happen and <laughs> what what's cool about it is that for us it was sort of like we didn't really think about it too much we we just realized that oh wow we should probably release a new video it had been a while we had been busy touring and stuff like that so we were like Let's just throw up a mic and like do something real quick and get it up on the internet. And then um, Kevin Bacon tweeted about it yeah. for some reason. And uh, it ended up on lots of blogs and lots more celebrities started tweeting about it. And, you know, it was even on like world star hip hop. And, <laughs> you know, I guess they right. listened to all kinds of stuff. But yeah. yeah. You know, that phenomenon of the, of the viral sharing of, of stuff. Well, how about another song uh, from the new album? Again, it's called Bad Self Portrait. It's going to come out in February on uh, Signature Sounds. Lake Street Dive. <laughs>
Just Ask by Lake Street Dive. They're in the Roadhouse from their forthcoming uh, record. It's called Bad Self Portraits coming out in February on Signature Sounds record. Rachel, have you spent any time in church or it's like a southern church? Yeah, um, I guess not church uh, exactly. I was raised in the Baha'i faith. Um, and, but there, there was a lot of gospel music um, that I sang growing up. My uh, father's a choral conductor. And I've been singing in choir since I was little, and there, a lot of that was spiritual singing and gospel music. Yeah, I can sure. imagine you when you travel, when you tour in the South, there's some old church ladies that might come up to you and say, girl, you sure can sing. Yeah, I mean, I think that's, you know, there's there's a few things that uh, influenced me the most. Uh, a lot of them were musicals from the 1940s, but singers in church was probably the, the mm. next, you know, it's, you know, right there with my influences. Just, um, 
not not just uh, the the style of singing, but the spirit and uh, the the performance aspect of of gospel music. I think is really beautiful. Um, and uh, yeah, I feel like that's a big part. Yeah, where are you from, and where did you meet the band? How did the band come together? Well, I'm from Tennessee, um, uh, outside of Nashville, and uh, we all met in Boston at the New England Conservatory mm-hmm. uh, at music school. We were jazz students. Yeah, students of jazz. When you go home for Thanksgiving and you talk to your relatives who know, oh, you play music, and they may be older people and they're not quite really sure what you do, but they know you play music, and they say, what what kind of music do you play? What do you say? What's the answer to that? We normally say pop soul with rock and roll uh-huh. because it rhymes. No, that's not why. But uh, our our main, you know, we, we try to write pop songs, um, but we're also really influenced by, you know, Motown and British Invasion. It's sort of like the two big mm-hmm. um, influences. Yeah, but you, you know, also you seem to be rooted in the fact that you don't really have any sort of drum machines or synthesizers. You have, you know cool electric guitars and stand-up bass and trumpets so is that a conscious effort to kind of stay rooted as far as the arrangements of the of the songs or is it just what you like it's easier to travel this way <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> less set up so drum machines <laughs> maybe in the future yeah. then you I, I think it's just what we like that's a good way of putting it yeah i mean it definitely never even crossed my mind too <laughs> yeah but yeah it's know, sort of a tr- a drum machine right in the mix although we do actually have a drum machine in the mix on a record at the Very end of one song yeah, that's true <laughs> yeah so any crazy production a is a possibility in the future. You could mm-hmm. be adding on layers and layers and layers to your music, we, we could hope. You played Town Hall, I think it was a few weeks ago, this really cool uh, uh, sort of show party to celebrate the new film the Coen brothers are making. Uh, I think it's called Inside um, Lewin Davis, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, you were invited to play this, and it, it was just it was produced by T-Bone Pernet, who produced the music in the film. And uh, there were a lot of heavy people there. And you, what was that like? Unbelievable. I mean, I'm just going to say that we hung out with Elvis Costello. Uh-huh. I'm just going to leave it at that. Yeah. It really doesn't get any better. I mean, the atmosphere was like very um, loving and supportive. Uh, there was just like so many heavies um, hanging out in the, the green room. And like everybody was just like patting patting each other on the back and being like, I love your music, I love what you guys do. And, you know, we were completely unknown in this setting and we just got a lot of good feedback and met everybody. And, I mean, it couldn't have been a better night. How many songs did you play? Just the one. Just one song, yeah. yeah. And, of course, the movie is a lot of, it's about early 60s folk revival. You know, a lot of it's based on the Dave Van Ronk book. And so there's a lot of people from that era. And Joan Baez was there, too. I understand you hugged her. Or she hugged you. Or how did it yeah, go? Yeah, we hugged. How did it go? <laughs> it was great. She's a good hugger. <laughs> <laughs> it really was great. Yeah. Well, con- <laughs> congrats on that. It's, it's flattering to be invited to this, such a, an event like that. Yeah. Um, the new album's called Bad Self Portraits. Let's hear another song from that one. It's Lake Street Dive. They're in the roadhouse.
The album is called Bad Self Portraits. That's a song from it. Go Down Smooth. Kind of a preview of the new album. It's on Signature Sounds coming out next February 2014. It's great to have Lake Street Dive in the Roadhouse. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks, Thanks for having Greg. us. Thanks. Done. Yeah. Cool. The cable snafus I was having. Yeah, weird. So, uh, <coughs> it couldn't really. You can edit that out. Took you, me a while to track down.